are at EcoVibe in Portland, Oregon. We are picking some accessories for a beautiful bathroom remodel that was just finished. So come with us. We're going to check out some stuff that we're going to bring. And then we'll show you in the last half of this video, the bathroom that we're styling and what we ultimately decide on for the photo shoot that we're doing. Vibe, an eco vibe. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. So let's pick some accessories for the bathroom. Plant, books, candle, towel, hand towel maybe? Yeah, okay. or like in a catch-all. The client has a floating shelf over the toilet and then a super long vanity. Mm -hmm. And so like, I don't know if we want to get like a little air plant or a catch-all. It's all cream and white, so adding yep. like a I think the towel. dark color would be pretty, and there's a color over there that I thought would be really nice. It's like that, like a sagey, tealy color. Okay. Like it's a, a little, little tall for the bathroom. Like it's gonna overtake the vanity. Okay. Like if we had something that something was smaller. Shorter. Look at these, Wend. The soap. You could do like a whole selection of like a hand soap, a potpourri thing. Like these are, that's the really bag. cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Or do you want cream or black? Do we need something like what this? What is that? You put your toothbrush. Oh, that's really cute. This is like a wood catch-all. Is it too kitschy? Too kitschy. Or what about this marble one? Come over here. Okay, fine. Something to add color because we really wanted a candle in there, right? Yeah, that's good. This would be great. Yep. Or we could do like... Do you care about anything like... Oh, I don't like the rainbow. The rainbow could be cute. No, no, no. Like what happens if you put this next to it? I don't do that. <laughs> no. I think this is a contender. That's a really good contender. This is super soft. Mm -hmm. It's really, really pretty. Because mm -hmm. the floor is cream well, This can half actually circles. be pretty with it. You can yeah. get the container. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh wait, they're both candles. They're both candles. Or you could do this. What if you do these two together? Yeah, you could. It needs a little. We'd pot it. Right? Yeah. Or would you rather do this oh, guy? Well, I want something that's smaller. To oh, go I know. With I just larger. didn't know if this guy would. Nope. Oh. Because he's fuller. Not that one. Yeah, he's fuller. He's cute. Cute. We're gonna start a stash up here. Do we need another plant? Because I Remind did bring. Me, I did bring a plant that cascades down. Perfect. Okay. What kind of uh, pot is it in? A good pot. About what color bar. is the pot? Like a, a nice terracotta. Okay. The colors on the tiles Arch, are like half circle, tannish white, right? cream and white. Cream and white. So this one would go well in their vibe, that peachy situation. This one? Well, this one's just one color. That's one. just one color. That's good looking. It adds some color. I think we should get that and bring it. So let's look at what we've selected. We've got the terracotta planter. We've got some green hues, light and dark with the pink. Do we like that? Yes. What color are the book spines? Oh, I've got some blues, like some navy blues, some like ocean, like teal colored books. And then one book that's like, it's in the car. It's like design something, I don't know. I think we I've should have got a, do you want to look in my trunk at what I have? Cause it would be nice to get some white books or like colors that will go with this. Do you want to look at what's in my car? Because it might affect um, this whole next step because what's in my car is good. So this is the plant I have Cute. to go on the shelf. I just thought Great. that is actually just a deeper tone than the half circles in the tile. Yes. Somewhat colorful mm. books. So this one would be great. Right. So and I then got, maybe we do this one. I got a travertine catch-all. Mm, that's pretty. I got Those book, are beautiful. I got bookends. I love this because we're bringing the pink from the rug. And with these bookends. I got two towel options and we can talk about how your towels can affect the color and the vibe of your whole space. What about this book? Because it has the greens what and it has, that? I was just thinking, because look, look at the colors over here. Are these greens going to go with what we just discovered in the car? Yes. Okay. We'll probably end up using the jade bookends. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not. Yeah, we just you, probably you won't end either. up. We probably won't end up using the blue towels. We'll probably do the cream towels. I kind of like how they're ripped. I know it's great. Do we just do that, or do we need to buy it and then rip it? Can we ask them if we can buy this one and they can rip another one?
Here we are guys at the Dash Road bathroom remodel. It has gone from the early stages, which we will show you with mauve tile, to full demo down to the studs, to this. And we're gonna show you how we're gonna accessorize it today. There are babies sleeping, so our voices are probably, they're actually closer to what, how normal, normal people, people talk. No one cares about the third. Do you put a towel on a hook? We don't know. We're not towel hook experts. In the store, we started to play with a green color and this beautiful, what would you call this? Like a peachy. Kind of a terracotta. Terracotta color. Terracotta, terracotta marble. And like travertine look. Because the room is so neutral. You know, you've got creams and lighter wood and white. And so we wanted to bring in some pops of color when we were styling. So we've got beautiful greens and some blues and we're pairing it with these beautiful pink, mobby, marbly, what are we calling them? Terracotta colors. Terracotta marble-ish vibe. And the plants always bring some life and some kind of flowing feel to the space of movement, which, yeah. which adds a lot. One thing we love to do in shells is to get a plant that hangs over the edge because it breaks the space up a little bit and provides more interest for your eye. There's three things we have in this space are plants, art, books, and something useful. So a catch-all. Catch-alls are always a fun way to either add color, texture, or a different, you know, expression. And obviously art achieves that as well. So notice we don't have the shelves jammed with things. We do have a lot of space and we have also allow space for if guests were to use this space, they could move the plant over and put a dop kit or a, a what do you guys call dop kits? I call them dop kits. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay, that's so interesting. It's like a makeup bag, but a dop kit is an old term that only like 60 year olds use maybe. <laughs> for th places to put their toothbrush, toothpaste, hair, comb, and whatever. The other thing I would say, if you wanna make it more functional by putting towels here, you could just take this out, this out, this out, roll towels, you know, in a nice way and just store them here. Or you could take this plant off and roll three or four, five towels here to store them. So you can still keep this look, but make it more functional if needed. Why don't we just pause and do that and just take two towels and roll them, which is a big feat because they never look good. So we can try. But if you do them on the back side, that's the trick. What do you mean the back I'll, side? I'll show the camera when you're done. Okay. This is why I don't roll towels. <laughs> I never have a towel bar and I don't I'll roll towels. I'll show you a trick though. I hang towels on a hook. So first of all, you, do, you want all of these weird edges to go on the inside. So instead oh, of oh, doing oh. it together, you, you have this side be longer. So if roll on the inside. And then you roll it. And this is the side that you're gonna show. Wait, wait, like this? Uh, yeah. And then you roll all the way down, making sure that this side looks good. We're not really towel experts, but here we are, rolling towels. So it's not perfect, but it looks, it looks pretty neat and tidy, right? So. Sort of. These towels are actually a little bit harder to I mean, you could do, obviously, we, I would do a third right there. Yeah, to do to make three. It cute, but we get the idea. Yeah. The first way to accessorize the bathroom is to clean it up. I don't need a lot on the countertops. Yeah. I mean, we just picked a few simple items. Hand soap, a candle, if you need to take a little poo. Your soap dish we put in the middle of both if you want to use real soap instead of liquid soap. And then we have this beautiful jewelry container over here. Yeah, like a little catch-all. You could put Q-tips in there. So what's great about this thing is it mimics not only the color, but also the shape of this tile. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. And so you're taking the shapes that are down here and you're basically replicating them up here. So one thing about accessorizing that is a challenge for a lot of people is what finish do we use for our hooks and our toilet paper 
holders and things if our doorknobs are one finish and our plumbing is another finish. And I say it's okay to mix metals, right? So your door hardware throughout your home might be a certain color, your plumbing in your bathroom might be a certain color, but how do I accessorize and make the bathroom practical with a way to hang your towels? I'm not a huge fan of towel bars anymore. That's when there's a nail in the wall and a nail in the wall, a bar is anchored to the wall and you hang a towel that always looks junky and doesn't dry and they get yanked on by kids, so I don't do them anymore. Basically, all I do is use hooks for towels. Hand towels, wash towels, face towels, and full body towels, I literally do not use a bar anymore. They look great, when they're empty, they look cute. When they're full, they look accessorized, and the towels dry. One kind of designy trick is explore other retailers, even Etsy, that you might be able to find a really fun hook. Notice this hook is more of a stone feel and it doesn't talk to the hardware in the hall that could be black or brass and it doesn't talk to the plumbing. It's its own thing and it still can be a neutral expression and almost artistic. So your hooks in your bathroom can be one of the last things that you accessorize your bathroom that can be really fun and artistic. Thank you so much for coming with us today to accessorize our Dosh Road bathroom. We hope you learned something new. Yes, this remodel was so much fun and it was great today to come and accessorize the vanity countertop, the hooks with towels, and the shelves with art, books, and plants. Don't forget to tune in and watch some of our other videos that include all things bathroom, accessorizing, tile, countertops, cabinets, you name it. Keep following, sharing, Liking, subscribing, commenting, all the things. So I've explored. I mean, do you do that? And it looks like a panouse. That looks good. It looks like a flower or a panouse or something. And you don't do this because it looks, looks messy. So again, I rest my case. It's cute, but how the hell do we use it? I'm not sure. You got a drip in your nose. My kids always tell me that. It's like I'm 107. <laughs>